everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel my skin is a little red but we're gonna do this makeup anyway the skin is cleansed prepped and ready to go so let's get started first I'm gonna start by using this primer by elf this primer has niacinamide and niacinamide has many benefits for the skin in a primer it helps to minimize the appearance of pores and wrinkles so I'll be applying this all over, avoiding my eyebrows. And I like to pat this product in. And I'll pat that in. Now I'll be using the Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax by Too Faced. This was my first time using this product and I was pleasantly surprised. Now for my eyebrows, I'll be using the Precisely My Brow Pencil, and this one is from Benefit. And like I mentioned in the previous video, I love, love this pencil. It glides easily, making the application effortless. Now I'm going to be using some concealer, the lightest, one of my lightest shades to clean up my eyebrows. Now I'll be using this Tower 28 in the number 8, I believe. You always want to use a darker color to clean the upper portion of your eyebrows. Use a color that's closest to your skin tone.
So I went ahead and primed my eyebrow, I'm sorry, my eyelids <laughs> using a concealer and I'm going to set that using the setting powder from Laura Mercier. I love that powder. It's talc free and it's very finely milled. Now I'll be getting started on my eyeshadow and that's the eye palette from Tarte and I'll come in with that light brown and I'm going to start by packing that right in the outer corner and working it inwards and upwards Now I'll be using the darker brown in the palette as my second color. Now I'm just going to clean up around that area, making sure everything is nice and seamless and clearing up any harsh lines. I went ahead and added some shimmer right at the beginning of my inner corner of my eye. And I'm stopping right at the middle. I'm not dragging it all across my eyelid. Just right in the middle. And again, just blending out any harsh lines to make it look nice and cohesive. Here I'll be applying some black eyeliner. And I did this by using my camera on my phone. I don't know how I did it y'all, but I did it. After using the pencil, I will go ahead and go in with a liquid 
eyeliner and the eyeliner I prefer to use is the one from Wet n Wild it's my ride or die I've been using it for years I'll be using some lashes so I went ahead and added some mascara and I needed the mirror for this guys my lashes are like invisible <laughs> but here I am putting some mascara on and the lashes I'll be using they're from kiss You want to make sure the adhesive is nice and tacky before placing the eyelash onto your own eyelash strip because if not it could get messy or start sliding. Once it's tacky it literally just goes right on there and it sticks on there and you just have to fix it up and it's nice and quick and easy. And again I'm doing this on my camera phone, I don't know how but I managed to do it. <laughs> It's so hard to film and do voiceovers when you have children. I don't know who can relate, but it's pretty hard. So, um, if you heard my son in the background, I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, here I'm just applying the second lash. And boom, I did it. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. And for my foundation, I'll be using the Fit Me. I love this foundation. Um, I really don't do high-end foundations. I like the Fit Me and I like the Wet n Wild, the Never Fail Me. And I'll be using this brush from Makeup Forever to put on the foundation on my face. Just to apply the foundation. This tool is so beneficial. Instead of using my fingers, dab some on there and boom, apply it to my face. I'm just going to blend that foundation in and I'm using this Morphe brush I don't remember what number it is but I think it's one of the brushes that was in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill so I had this brush for a while but it helps with the blending of the foundation really good I really like it a lot so just blend 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 I'm going in with this NARS bronzing cream and I'll be using that as my contour and at first I didn't like how it looked on me it looked pretty muddy if you can tell it was very muddy but towards the end I was able to fix it up a little bit but yeah
I'll be using this palette from Makeup Forever. I love this palette. It's very versatile. And I'll be using that color right there to contour my nose. Going back with my Tower 28 concealer, I'm going to be putting concealer under my eyes and highlighting those areas that I want to bring out. Now I'm going to be using that Laura Mercier powder that I used earlier and I'm going to set everywhere I just highlighted. I don't like to bake, I don't like to leave the powder too long, especially under my eyes because I feel like it starts to settle in and it looks dry. So I just like to pat, pat, pat that product in. Now I'll be using this bronzer and it's from Sephora and I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face and this is what really helped me to balance out that contour. It made it a little warmer so it started to work better for my skin. Now I'm going to go ahead with this e.l.f. Camo blush and this thing is so intense. I almost had a disaster. Well, I kind of did. I managed to fix it. <laughs> you guys will see. Should have left it alone but it's such a beautiful color now we fixed it
here I'm using the Sky High by Maybelline. I picked up the wrong color. This is brown, so it's not really showing. But yep, I went ahead and applied some mascara on my lower lashes. I got this little mini set of MAC lipsticks during the holiday season. It's my first time trying them out. I mean, I've tried MAC lipsticks before and they're very nice and creamy. I'm just going to show you guys the colors that it comes with. I decided to go ahead with the lighter shade. That's the first shade that I showed you guys. And I really like this color. Okay, so this is the result from me doing my makeup. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to ask and comment down below. Please give this video a like and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Um, take care of yourselves, guys, and I will see you in the next one. I like my hair like this. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. It's giving. It's giving. You know I'm recording, right?